Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss another example for the question which is in the third quadrant. So express Z in the polar form. Step number one to having an argon diagram. So in this case, the location for the Z will be at the third quadrant. So for example, negative 5, negative 12 I. So here we have our theta. This is the imaginary axis. This is the real axis. Second step is to find the modulus. So Z, modulus of Z will be equal to 25 plus 144. So our Z, modulus of Z will be equal to 13. The third step is to find the argument of Z. So tangent theta will be equal to y over x. Do remember to ignore the value of negative, I mean the sign. So theta will be equal to 12 over 5 tangent theta, we will have 67.38 as a basic angle. So in the mode of radian, we will have 1.176 radian. Now refer to the diagram. The locations of the complex number will be at the third quadrant. So as we all know, this is our theta. Okay. So now we are going to look for the argument. So where is the argument? Do remember to start from the zero. So meaning that the shorter distance will be clockwise. So this is the argument of Z. So in order to find the argument of Z, it will be negative pi. Why negative pi? Because this is a clockwise. So if you follow anti-clockwise, it will be positive value. If follow clockwise, it will be a negative value. So this is what we call negative pi plus the theta okay plus the theta because from here until this part we can consider as negative pi so we have to reverse that's why we need to add on the value theta so 1.176 so the argument of z will be negative 1.9656 radian so finally in a polar form so 13 cos negative 1.9656 plus i sine negative 1.9656 so here we are and thanks for watching